What's going on everyone and welcome in. THQ Nordic and Nine Rocks Games has been giving us a slow drip of information around the game. The latest being a beautiful video detailing the 14 animals we can hunt on day one. Most of them I'd expect we have seen before and or hunted before. With moose, whitetail, mule deer, black bears, bighorn sheep, mountain goat, elk, ross goose, ducks, lesser scop, badger, red fox, and pheasant. We have plenty of species to hunt and the possibility of adding more with DLCs is something to look forward to. I really wouldn't mind seeing some grouse pop up and after seeing the pheasants, they're only a stone's throw away from adding them. Let me know in the comment what animal and or animals that you think should come with launch or with a DLC. Yet before this trailer was released, we did get an article published by Sector. In this article, we can dissect a few things and pull more facts out of the already tight-lipped team. The biggest thing I took from the interview was that the game is going to have a true story mode that's not just a tutorial. In the story mode, we will be helping family with their business of selling game meat. So this tells me there's going to be dialogue and that there will be a story that puts us in their world where hunting is life. Family matters here, and so does the hunt and the environment. This is refreshing for the folks who want to learn about this world Nine Rocks built, as there hasn't been a lot of detail around the story, but I expect to be given the chance to become part of their world as well. As in the article, they say that there will be a world encyclopedia, meaning we should be exploring and finding new places with more information unlocked in that encyclopedia menu. We have seen this in other games, like in Call of the Wild. I basically ignore it in that game because it's just a page full of information. If the point is really special enough, I'll read it, but mainly seeing the site is enough for me. Yet to know they are planning something to this level of detail is pretty cool. Are one of the mountains we see actually Mount St. Helens as the iconic mountain in the Pacific Northwest? Or maybe we will see a glimpse of the lava tubes or some of the abandoned towns. Even if it isn't the case, Having things like this to explore will help with getting fatigued over this game. While this is probably the most sought after place to hunt big game in North America, and has been in other games, it gives some who aren't familiar one of the best examples of husbandry to the land. Plus on top of that, it's an amazing place to hike. These surprise waterfalls and the switchbacks that take you up to new heights not to mention the rock formations from the Missoula floods. Now that's just the walking part, so when it comes down to the hunting, there are a few more things to consider that we're headed to next. It does seem like your shot placement on the animals is going to matter more than ever. I'd expect to see mechanics in the game, meaning if you mess up a shot, there's real consequences for it. Example, when we are chasing game and use a rifle, the rifle causes damage to the meat. That's why it's important to have an excellent shot placement. It's not only in suffering as fast as possible and as ethical as possible, but also to preserve the meat for use to respect that creature. As for most hunters, that's the whole reason to be out there for days on end with damp clothes and tired eyes. If we make a shot that is too far back, maybe we will lose the tenderloins possibly the most sought after part of the animal when we hit say the stomach or intestines or it directly. It would make sense as most game meat that is sold has to be inspected on the same level as the USDA standards. There was also hint at if the shot is way off then we might not even get the trophy for mounting nor meat to sell which brings a different feel than Call of the Wild. Here, expect every aspect to mean something 
in the end result. Which goes to another level when we heard that the hunters can affect the composition of the herd based on their decisions. If we make a mistake, then we will see it. This starts to make me think that if we take big bucks out of a herd, maybe we will see that herd trophy size shrink. And if we tend it and take the lesser bucks, maybe we will get some world record racks out of it. Being on such a big map, hopefully managing herds might seem like a daunting task, but with the SUV, it should make it a little easier on the legs. Not only will we get a car to drive around the world, but it has been hinted and in the Discord, we will be able to use it for storing items. I imagine this being extremely useful as I wouldn't expect to be able to carry all that much with you at all times. Meaning we might get a primary and a secondary weapon, but bringing the wartime kit is probably gonna have to wait in the truck. As no one can carry 5 tripods and a blind and all their weapons and still have room for game meat. It's just not an authentic experience at all. I do wonder how the inventory will work. Are we going to save space in our packs for the game meat? For other items? Will our rifle take up space? Or are we going to be able to transport it another way? Stash it in other places? Will we even need to worry about it at all? I might like having to manage my pack for a time, but I can see that getting a bit tiresome to have to constantly go back to the cabin or lodge to get new gear. I already find it tiresome in Call of the Wild. Would be way nicer if I could just store a good amount in the SUV and go back for that whatever I needed, whenever I needed. One thing is certain is that they want this game to draw as many players as possible and they don't want things like a skill gap or being unfamiliar with hunting to deter us from the experience of the hunt or of this game as they have made it clear that there will be multiple levels of difficulty to select from from easy to what has been quickly described as a realism mode with no utilities which I'm speculating is probably going to be called something like elite hunter I'd expect to see a level where they walk you through the game fairly well giving you reference points and probably more information on the animals habits and such to guide new hunters now as I said it does sound like a story centric game but that's not to say you can't just hunt during the interview with sector we are told you can complete the very minimum and continue hunting to me it sounds like you can just head into the open world and start hunting selling meat to gain money for more gear and never paying any mind to the story at all that does seem like It'll have its uses specifically for those folks who aren't interested in a storyline and just want to hunt. Many different partners will come out in the future, but as for now, we only are left with Leupold, Steyr Arms, and Vortex. But I wouldn't be surprised if other brands such as Benelli and Ruger make their stamp on this title as well. I can't wait to see what equipment we are getting to work with. I'd love to see some real pack makers in this as well. Maybe a mystery ranch pack or even a backpackers pack like Kelty. With all the gear we have already seen, the options are pretty much limitless. From beanies to boots to jackets, there are just so many things that could be put in there for us to use. Each gear could have a specific attribute that helps us fend off certain elements. Now that part of the mechanics could be pretty cool depending on how they do it. Having customizations like that would be neat as an element even if it's not useful it brings your own style to the hunt and to the game. While there is still a lot to learn about the game and the ways it can be played there is some traction for it and with every bit of footage we get there is just more to wonder about until its actual release. There is no further detail about the co-op mode other than it doesn't sound like there will be cross-platform co-op. Although it wouldn't be the first time I'm wrong, so let me know if you have more information on this game as we are constantly learning more every day. You can go ahead and pre-order for the August 16th release. If you pre-order, you will get that special pack we talked about in videos past. I have already secured myself a tag for this fall, 
I can't wait to head to the Pacific Northwest to hunt, and I can't wait to see you out there. With that, I'm going to get out of here and get out of your hair. Thanks for watching another one, and as always, have a great day.